The web or the World Wide Web consists organized information into web containing text and graphic images. It contains hypertext links or highlighted words and images that lead to related information. A collection of linked web pages has a common theme or focus is called websites. The World Wide Web consists organized information into web containing text and graphic images. Next, I will be introducing the creator of the World Wide Web, Sir Timothy John Barners Lee. He invented the World Wide Web in 1989. He is an English engineer and a computer scientist, a professional fellow of computer science at the University of Oxford, and a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Examples of Web 1.0 mp3.com, homepage, directories, page views, and HTML or portals. I will be sharing some insights about the Web 2.0, its examples, and its key features, and the Web 3.0. So the Web 2.0, or also known as the Read-Write Interactive Web, is a term used to describe a new generation of web services and applications with one increasing emphasis on human collaboration. It also focuses on the ability for people to collaborate and share information online via social media, blogging, and web-based communities. So here are the examples of the Web 2.0. So the first example is the social networking. So this is the use of the internet-based social media sites that stay connected with friends, family, your colleagues, your customers, or even your clients. And some of the best examples of social networking sites is the Facebook, the Twitter, and the Instagram. So the next example is the blogs. So this is a discussion or informational website published on the World Wide Web. It is consists of discrete, often informal diary style text entries. And the best example for this is the World Press and the Tumblr. We also have the wikis. So this is a hypertext publication collaboratively edited and managed by its own audience directly using a web browser. And the example for this is the Wikipedia. The next one is the video sharing sites. These are the websites that lets people upload and share their video clips to the public. And the very best known example for this is the YouTube. So now, Let's talk about the key features of the Web 2.0. So there are four key features in Web 2.0. And these are the foxonomy, rich user interface, user participation, and the long tail. So the first one is the foxonomy. So this talks about the categorized information using freely chosen information. The next one is the rich user interface. This has a dynamic content and is responsive to users' input. The next one is the user's participation. In this one, the owner of the website is not the only one who is able to put contents on the site. Other people can also put their own content by means of comments, reviews, or evaluation. And the last key feature of the Web 2.0 is the long tail. So in this area, there are services that is being offered on demand rather than a one-time purchase. And it is synonymous to subscription to a data plan that charges you for the amount of the time you spend on internet. Now, let's go to our very last topic which is the introduction to the Web 3.0 or also known as the Read-Write Intelligent Web. So in this generation, all of the applications on web or mobile will be upgraded with more features. Web 3.0 will be more connected, open, and intelligent with semantic web technologies, distributed database, natural language processing, machine learnings, machine reasoning, and autonomous agents. Types of websites. The first one is e-commerce website. 
e-commerce website is a website people can directly buy products from you probably used a number of e-commerce websites before. Any website that includes a shopping cart and a way for you to provide credit card information to make a purchase falls into this category. The examples are Amazon, eBay, and Alibaba. The second one is business website. Business website is any website that's devoted to representing a specific business. It should be branded like the business and communicate the types of products or services the business offers. The examples are Apple, Coca-Cola, and Nike. The third one is entertainment website. If you think about your internet browsing habits, you can probably think of a few websites that you visit purely for entertainment purposes. The examples are YouTube, Netflix, and Spotify. Portfolio website. Portfolio website are sites devoted to showing examples of past work. Service providers who want to show potential clients the quality of the work they can provide use a portfolio website to collect some of the best samples of past work they've done. The example here is Behance. The next one is Media Website. Media Website collect news stories or other reporting. There's some overlap here with entertainment website, but Media Website are more likely to include reported pieces. The examples are CNN, ESPN, and National Geographic. Brochure Website Brochure websites are a simplified form of business websites. For businesses that know they need an online presence but don't want to invest a lot into it. A simple brochure that includes just a few pages that lay out the basics of what you do and provide contact information may be enough for you. The examples are Fitbit Studio and Gravity. The next one is Nonprofit website. In the same way that businesses need websites to be their online presence, nonprofits do as well. A nonprofit website is the easiest way for many potential donors to make donations and will be the first place many people look to learn more about a nonprofit and determine if they want to support it. The examples are UNICEF or the United Nations Children's Fund, and WWF, or the World Wildlife Fund. The next one is educational website. These websites have the primary goal of either providing educational materials to visitors or providing information on an educational institution to them. The examples are Khan Academy, Kausara, and Duolingo. The next one is Infopreneur website. Websites overlap a bit with business and e-commerce websites, but they represent a unique type of online business. Infopreneur create and sell information products that could be in the form of courses, tutorials, videos, or ebooks. The examples are Smart Passive Income or Smart Passive Income.com and Marie TV or Marie for Leo.com. The next one is Personal Website. Not all websites exist to make money in some way or another. Many people find value in creating personal websites to put their own thoughts out into the world. This category includes personal blogs, vlogs, and photo diaries people share with the world. The examples are Team Ferris or Team.blog and Seth Godin or Seth's.blog. The next one is Web Portal. Web Portal are often websites designed for internal purposes at a business organization, or institution. They collect information in different formats from different sources into one place 
to make all relevant information accessible to the people who need to see it. The examples are MSN or msn.com and AOL or aol.com. The last one is Wiki or Community Forum Website. Most people are familiar with wikis. A wiki is website where various users are able to collaborate on content and all make their own tweaks and changes as they see fit. There are wikis for fun communities, for business resources, and for collecting valuable information sources. The example is Wikipedia. Lesson 2. The Internet. The Internet, a vast computer network connecting billions of users, is a collection of computers and devices connecting via communication channels allowing sharing of resources. A. Brief History of Internet. The Internet began in 1969 with an experimental computer network by ARPA. It was named in 1982 and became the first free net in 1986. In 1991, the U.S. government allowed business agency to connect to the internet improving life and work quality. Vinton Gray, Surf and Bob Kahn are organized as pioneers. B. Major of components of internet. 1. Server is a computer program and its user. Application Server, a program in computer that provides the business logic of application program. Web Server, a computer program that serves requested HTML page or file. Proxy Server is a software that acts as an intermediary between an endpoint device such as a computer and other server from which a user is requesting. Mail server is an application that receives incoming email from local user and remote sender and forward outgoing email for delivery. File server is a computer responsible for central storage and manage of data files so that other computer on the same network can access them. Policy Server is a security component of a policy-based network that provides authorization, service, and facility tracking and control the files. Number 2. IP Address Internet Protocol is a numerical label assigned to each device that provides identity to a network device. 3. Browser is an application program that provides a way to look information on the web. Example, Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Opera, and Mozilla. 4. Domain Name System or DNS is an phone book of internet we can access information online through domain names. 5. Internet Service Provider or ISP is an organization that provides service for accessing using of participating in internet. Example, Skybroad PLDT Commerge National ISP provide internet access to a specific graphic area. Regional ISP, business that provide internet access in cities and town nationwide. Business of internet. The first one is look for information. For example, if you want to know someone about his or her life, in just a click, you can search it on the internet. For example, it's a If you want to know about his mother, wives, or about his works, in just a click, you can search his information on the internet. The second one is school works, jobs, and home purposes. Because of internet, school works, applying jobs, or working from home are more easier and convenient because it will be less hassle for them. The third one is send and receive electronic mail. Electronic mail or email allows people to exchange messages very quick. Email is the electronic equivalent of letter, but they are more flexible. The fourth one is the video teleconferencing, or like video call or video chats. It's a video communication that lets two or more parties meet face-to-face -face through the internet. The fifth one is buy and sell product. In short, it is an act of shopping online and selling online. Next one is social networking. 
uses internet-based social media platforms to connect with family and friends. The example of social networking is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even TikTok. Another one is watch and post videos. The example of this is TikTok and YouTube. Then the next one is games. It helps to develop practical skills or psychological role. They also encourage teamwork. I guess you know some online games like Mobile Legends and Call of Duty or even Far Life. And then the next one is take college courses. Because of the internet, it would be faster and easier. Next one is monitor home while away. For example, you can set up a camera to your home. Just use an internet. And then there is financial transactions. Nowadays, most of the banks use your online accounts to conduct a range of financial transactions through the financial institution website. Lastly, to download music and movies because you can watch it or listen to it when you're offline instead of listening to Spotify or connect to YouTube. Internet terms and definition. The first one is internet. So what is internet? It is a global network, thousands of computer networks linked by data lines and wireless systems. Because of internet, it's possible to access any information to communicate or for entertainment purposes. Next is web, a collection of billions of web pages that you can view with a web browser. It is a collection of information that can be accessed using the internet. Then the next is email, the most common method of sending and receiving messages online. So they are more flexible than the ordinary letters. Let's proceed to social media. It is a website and the app that allows people to share comments, photos, and videos. They also exchange information and ideas in virtual communities and networks. Then let's proceed to the online gaming. Games that allow people to play with against each other over the internet. For example, is Mobile Legends, Far Light, COD, and many more. Let's proceed to software updates. Operating system and application updates typically downloaded from the internet. It is a set of changes to a software to update, fix, or improve. Next is HTML. HTML or hypertext is a coding language used to tell a browser how to place pictures, text, multimedia, and links to create a web page. When a user clicks a link within a web page, that link, which is coded with HTML, links the user to a specific link web page. For example, H1, P, and IMG. Then next one is URL, or Uniform Resource Locator. It is a web address used to connect to a remote resource in the World Wide Web. It is also a reference to a web resource that specifies its location on a computer network and a mechanism for retrieving it. Another one is bit, a single digit in the binary numbering system. For example, 1 is a bit or 0 is a bit. In short, it is the smallest unit of data that a computer can process and store. Next is byte. Generally consists of 8 bits. It is a group of binary digits or bits. It is usually 8, operated on as a unit. Another one is upload. To upload is to transfer data from your computer to another computer. It's the transmission of data from a local device to a remote device. Typically, the remote device is a larger server. Next is download. To download is to transfer data from another computer to your computer. Usually, download requires internet. The next one is HTTP. It is the acronym for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, the data communication standard of web pages. When a web page has this prefix, the links, text, and even pictures should work correctly in a web browser. It allows users to communicate data on the World Wide Web. Another one is HTTPS. It's the acronym of Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. This indicates that the web page has a special layer of encryption added to hide your personal information and password from others. It's an extension of Hypertext Transfer Protocol. They are like the ones to provide security to protect users like you against the eavesdroppers and man-in-the-middle attacks. Next is router or router modem. Combination is the hardware device that acts as the traffic cop for network signals arriving at your home or business from your ISP. A router can be wired or wireless or both. Then a modem connects you to the internet. A router connects your device to your home network. A router by itself does not connect you to the internet. Then another one is encryption. It is the mathematical scrambling data so that it is hidden from eavesdroppers. Encryption uses math formulas to turn private data into meaningless double degree that only trusted readers can unscramble. It helps to protect information from data breaches. Next is Webbot, a term that applies to program or applets, macros and intelligent agents used or the internet. Such bots perform a repetitive function such as posting messages to multiple new groups or doing searches for information. And lastly, search engine, specialized engines such as Google and Yahoo that lets www browser search for information on the web by using keywords phrases. The result will be displayed on the screen.